Welcome back, everybody, to my Let's Play or my Timeless SSP, where we are going to be documenting the changes throughout the years to come. We will never delete this world, and we are going to keep playing throughout all the updates, no matter how many different types of terrain generation we may have in the future. So a couple things that we did since last episode, I did a little cleaning up and I've got a bit of a unofficial tree farm going. I decided to start working with spruce for the first time ever. I mentioned last episode, I never even cut down a spruce tree. Well, I changed that and we have spruce and I'm going to show you what we put together in just a minute. I've been pretty busy since last episode. We did a little clean up, like I said, and uh, now we're just kind of continuing that and we're going to expand the wheat farm. Now we're going to fill this water in at some point, but we're going to take things a bit slow. I had to focus on getting some food established and then I gathered some basic resources and I got to work on a basic starter house that we could probably convert into something different once we have our real house set up right over there. So we got ourselves a nice little sugarcane farm going here. Nothing, of course, is automated. This is still very, very early game. And we still have a bunch of things to do before we can automate. We have to go get we have to go establish a mine. We have to get our diamonds or at the very least our iron and then we can start to automate. We got to get ourselves the redstone as well. We may have to take a trip to the nether. I don't know if we can do that this episode. I'd like to get there soon. But if we don't, then it's OK. But let me show you. For, so, OK, so let, let's do this. Let's do this farm real quick first. And then uh, we're going to so what we're going to do is what I'm I'm trying to just expand this wheat farm and we're going to these are this is a two nine by nines total so far. The way I do the wheat farms early game is I just carve out a nine by nine and then I put this right in the center because it can water can hydrate up to four blocks out. Right. So once I have my nine by nine, I just place down all my seeds and I just use all those seeds and I just keep expanding, keep expanding, keep expanding until I uh, feel like I'm satisfied with the amount of wheat that I have. So we need this for our bread. We also need this for the wheat for our cow farm. Where are we going to expand this? So we're going to go out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. OK, so we're going to expand it out like this. How many seeds do we have? We need exactly 80 seeds to start a whole new square. So that is 64 plus 16. OK, there's our 80 right up. Oh. OK, we have 80 right there. We have. 80 right here. OK, we actually have enough to expand out by two more. What do you see? We just go ahead and build ourselves a square from here all the way to here. OK, you know what? That works perfectly. Let's go ahead and let's get our water in here. One. And now we get our water and then we put a nice slab right on top. That way we don't have to uh, fall into the water. So far, this is like the you're going to get the most out of your crops if you just plant one bit of water. And then you put like a slab or a stair on top. Some people put like a jack-o'-lantern right there so you can light it up. And you can do that, but I don't like having to, you see, you see here, you see how I stop? I don't like that. So what we could actually do, we'll just put some torches here. This isn't, this isn't permanent. This is nothing fancy. This is just your simple wheat farm. Okay, we got ourselves our nice, uh, this is going to be, uh, what, nine? This is an 18 by 18. So we are going to produce each wheat, each square. That's a uh, 80 per square. We got four squares. So that is 320 growable spots. That is exactly five stacks of wheat. So that will give us, I don't know the exact number, but that is a good amount of bread. OK, nap time's over. 
So now we've got to fill in 320 spots, which is. Oh, you know what? I think I did my math wrong. Um, I need five stacks of seeds and I. Only have three and about three and a half. That's OK. That's OK. We're going to keep going. We're going to plant all this anyway. We will be ready to fill up 320 growable spots in the next harvest. I guarantee that. And there we go. We got ourselves almost a full 18 by 18 square. Now, I know what I did wrong with my calculations. I uh, I did the math without factoring in the amount of seeds needed to replace the crops that I recently just took. Then add in the extra it would take to complete the new two spaces that I opened up. So uh, that, that's, that's, that's just a bad call of mine. That's a rookie mistake. It's OK. So now are you are you ready? Are you are you are you all excited? Well, I'm going to show you the our temporary hideout base. It's pretty much a place to sleep and store resources. And then as time goes on, we will move over to this spot right here. I, I have a design in mind. I think it's going to look kind of cool. We just need to get a few more things and then we will be ready. So here we go. You notice. Oh, look at that beautiful stairway. And then we come down into this. Now, this is um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I just kind of put things together. It's it's not too bad. It's not too bad for a start house. I was overthinking it. And I realized we don't need to overthink it for a just a hut. This is just somewhere to so see. I already have a place to store my goods and that's all we really need it for. That's it's just to sleep and to store. It's basically like an underground storage. So <laughs> we're going to we're going to gather resources here. Once we move over there, this may get converted into the entrance into a mine because it does kind of look like it has that mine look. I didn't mean to, but it ended up just happening. So if anyone saw my pinned comment from the last episode, I mentioned that in editing or in recording, I couldn't hear the buzzing. And in editing, I heard buzzing. So I said that we would go check it out in a future in the next episode to confirm if we actually have bees. I don't know if anyone even caught the buzzing. I heard it when I was <laughs> editing and going over things. So we're going to take a look here. And sure enough, we have honey. We have honey, which means we have bees. They just they just don't want to come out yet. Do you, do you hear them? Oh, oh, I heard a buzz buzz and we definitely have honey pouring out. So we have bees, which is perfect. We are we are going to have a bee farm so we can get some honey blocks and I don't know what I'm going to do with honey blocks just yet. Oh, there he is. Look at this cute little. Oh, yeah, there you go. You pollinate. That's right. I don't know what I'm going to do with honey blocks just yet, but now I know that it is close to home. You know, the more I think about it, the more I realize why convert this into a mine entrance when this could just start off as the mine entrance and I'll just move my things over to this side and then we will just dig down from here. This will be our way. We're going to go all the way down to uh, what is the current bedrock of y equals zero. Well, in our case, you know, it's going to be like y equals four and maybe not all the way down the bedrock. We're probably going to get to diamond level, which currently is Y11. And of course, that's going to change at the end of the year. So but that's OK. We will probably not. We may be here by the time we get the caves and cliffs. We may not. Who knows? Um, but we're going to get down to diamond level, I think, today. And we're going to do a bit of mining, try to get some good, a good amount of iron. And diamond, because, well, anyone that's playing a new world right now enjoy it as it is while you still can because this really is the last few months that we can enjoy the simple simple mining like we i don't think we quite appreciated just how simple the mining system was and when you think about it once you once you start to think about where all the different ores are going to generate at different densities at different y levels you you come to realize that this current way of mining is really 
it's it's just so easy it's so fluid and it doesn't require any thought any strategy and that's all going to change so enjoy it while you can with that said, let's go ahead and hack away at this nice wall that I set up. So I got a bunch of backup tools because this is the Stone Age after all. So tools are going to break a lot. So we want to take this down to Y11. And then from there, we're going to have like a bit of a room for extra storage and maybe some automation, like some mine carts that unload automatically maybe maybe that might be a little too fancy i i feel like i don't stay in the mines long enough to justify that type of technology but it might look cool we we, we, we want to decorate it and make it look good so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start digging our way down well i used up all of my stone pickaxes and about a little over half my iron pickaxe but we finally made it. We are now at Y11. Oh, look at that. We already got some redstone. Good. All right. So now we're just going to kind of open this up a bit more. And there we go. We have ourselves. This is about as this should be wide enough. I think this is acceptable. And then we just need to bring this back by about, oh, I'd say 10. All right. Well, we have ourselves a nice breathable space. Now, what we're going to do with this room in particular is we're going to just place our chests in here. And this is where we're going to store all of our this is basically our the warehouse for the mines. And then we're going to use the shulker craft method, shulker craft method of strip mining. They made a video. Oh, a few months back about what the most effective way of strip mining is. And I like that one. That one works. I've been using it for quite some time. So we're going to stick. go ahead and stick with that. And we're going to start that off. Oh, probably. We'll we'll dig another tunnel. We'll dig another. We'll dig a three by three. And we're just going to dig this out like 50 blocks or so. And then that's going to be our main mine shaft. And then we're going to face either this way or this way. OK, and then we're going to just do our strip mining techniques and that'll be that. And then we'll come back in here and we'll store all of our goods. But I'm getting very claustrophobic. I think it's uh, we're going to go take a look at the farm and expand the wheat fields just a bit more. Oh, now look at this. Look at this lovely, lovely wheat. We can expand this out a little more, I think. We'll see what happens when we're done filling it all back in. And we only have 31 seeds after all that. But we do have a nice amount of wheat. That's almost... Oh, that's that, That's about a little over 200, I'd say, yeah? Yeah, we got ourselves 211 pieces of wheat, which isn't bad. That's very, very good. That's going to be a good amount of we could probably make a stack and a half of bread from that. All right, team. Well, now that we have food pretty much established, I'm, I don't expect to go hungry anytime soon. Uh, what, what we're going to do with this farm is we're going to just keep expanding it, I think, off into the river right there. We're just going to have just this nice land of wheat, this whole area. And then we're going to kind of make it we're going to we're going to put a pathway in between this chunk of land, this chunk of wheat over here. And then we're going to start another one over there. And it's going to kind of be like, uh, you know, barriers of wheat that and then we're going to have the pathway from the house. It's going to be over here. We're going to have a pathway that's going to cut through and it's going to go over here. And the wheat fields are going to gently hug along the pathway. And then we're going to split the path off. We're going to make a little bit of a dock here, I think. I'd like to get some sort of dock set up. And then we're going to have a pathway over there to the witch farm. So a couple things we got to do. So a couple things we can want to take care of. And now that we have our food out of the way, things are going to get just a little bit easier. But that doesn't mean that the work is going to stop. In fact, we now have more things to do if things get easier, such as when for the food, for example, now that we have food out of the way, we can focus on building the mine house a little better. I think that's what I, I'm officially going to call it that. That's This is going to be the mine house. So what we want to do is I like 
the idea of having like a semicircle and it kind of arches down. So we're going to have we're going to have the curve going this way. And it's going to kind of taper down. All of it's going to taper down to here. So what we have to do first is we have to dig it down to the proper size and get it all ready. And now we have the perimeter set up and now time for the most exciting part, taking this, emptying this all out with my stone tools. And there we go, man, that took me the rest of the day. Pretty much we're here in a new day now. And so I while I was digging this out, I had a few change of hearts. I had a, a couple different ideas. So I mentioned before, I think I mentioned that I wanted to have a, a, a circular kind of stairway going down. And I realized I don't I don't want to do that. Also, I think I don't think it would make very much sense. This is the mine house. So what we got to do? Well, first, we got to pull this back by one block. So it's, you know, it's offset right there. We need to fix that, right? We're going to replace all of this with grass. Both sides, of course, we're going to probably put this. We'll, we'll, we'll have to make another one to put it there because I don't have silk touch. We'll, we'll change that up. And then this is a mine house that has to look like mining goes on here. So we're going to get rid of all this dirt. We're going to put it in with stone and andesite and gravel all along for the walls. Right. And then we're going to put like a few like piles of rocks here and there. It's going to have like just so we don't have this square angle. Right. We're going to put in some blocks, some boulders, bits of buttons to, sim you know, to represent like little stone bits here and there. And then either on both sides or one. Oh, excuse me. On either both sides or one. I want to get a little waterfall into a pond. And I think that's going to look really cool. And that's going to be the glorious entrance into the mine house. I'm telling you, I am. I was not trying to do this, everybody. I am dead serious. I really just wanted to have a basic starter base before I actually get to work on the base over there behind me. I've already got the area cleared out. I just need to gather resources. It was not, I was not meant to take it this far, I swear. But it's okay. This this is going to be a, a world that is, we're going to have for quite some time. So it makes sense to just take my time and go easy and, you know, just go ahead and decorate even the simplest of things. Just make it look nice wherever we go. And we also, I carved out a little bit more of this and I know what you're going to say. And you probably know what I'm going to say since we're down here in the mines. But there was a little bit of off camera mining. Not that much, I promise. I, I just literally just I wanted to get some iron and I didn't get any iron. I just I just. I, I, there was no iron. There was all this work, all this effort, and I got like nothing to show for it. I got a bunch of stone and no diamonds, nothing. I got one emerald and some redstone. That's pretty much it. So I've been smelting down. I got some coal, too. So I've been smelting stuff down, trying to get some stone, because like I said earlier, we're going to we're going to work on the the walls of the entrance to the mine house. And I got some gravel and and we're going to fill that all up. And then I got bored and I decided to extend out the wheat field by just a little bit more. We now have a nice three by three of wheat. Now, each each block, each section is, of course, you know, a nine by nine. So that's 80 times nine. That is 720 farmable spaces. That's 720 bits of wheat. And that is at least 720 seeds so we could we could easily just make a bone meal farm out of this i think any of the leftover seeds we'll just throw into a composter just a basic bone meal farm we'll get to work on that in a bit now as much as i would like to get to work on this real quick i know that iron is very low and we're gonna have to tear all this out and we're gonna have to push all this back we got a lot to do so I'm going to have to do a little bit more off camera mining in the hopes. Did my door shut? These pressure plates are not that reliable, but in the hopes of getting some more iron, we have got to do a little bit more off camera mining. So 
I'm going to go get it in for about an hour or so, and we will see how much iron I get at the end of that. So while I was mining, I did a bit of a thing and I stumbled upon a cave and one thing led to another and then I kind of got slightly lost and then I finally found my way out, but not before snagging some diamonds. Now, I already got myself a pickaxe and I got a little bit of this and this is finally after everything's been smelted down, even ended up in a slime chunk. So we found a good location. I'm going to go explore those caves as time goes on, but I think for now... We have just enough time and just enough resource to kind of finish up the mine house and get to a little bit more decoration. So what we have to do next is we have to take all that out and replace it with dirt so it will grow into grass. All right, now that's done. We're just going to let the grass grow and spread out throughout all this dirt. We have a nice green lawn and I actually while after I did that I pulled this back a bit so we have a little bit more breathing room so now we pretty much have to replace all this dirt with stone andesite gravel cobblestone and I need to put a perimeter from here all the way around and I'm still debating on what material. It's either going to be a cobblestone wall, andesite wall, if we can do that without making it polished, or a stone brick. I think most likely it's going to be some sort of cobblestone. So we'll get back when the, we'll, we'll see you when that is complete. All right, well, it's time to give everybody the official tour. So before I actually show you, I just want to make it very clear that I was not trying to go this far with something as basic as a pre-starter starter house. I just wanted a place to sleep, a place to store my goods, but I wanted it to look a little more presentable. And because we're keeping this world for, you know, a few years, I figured, let me just put a little bit more time into it. Um, now, of course, just a disclaimer, I am not the best builder, but I do know a little thing or two about detailing. I decided to show you at nighttime just so we can kind of get that that glow with the I hit some torches behind some of the stones and stuff to kind of make it look a little make it stand out a little bit more. It looks good at nighttime. And of course, I don't have expensive lighting right now. All I really have is torches. But this is it. This is the official mine house. Now, the idea behind these piles of rocks and, and treasure is that in the process of coming down here, digging everything out, you know, strip mining, all that stuff, um, you know, this is just like leftover debris and bits. Uh, this is the, you know, loose product from the mining operations. And I don't know why, but I felt like a campfire should be here. I've never used a campfire for decoration, so <laughs> I had to check that off the list. And I feel like it might be out of place, but I might still keep it, at least until I have better lighting. And then I thought, you know, how about we just have some custom pools with some lava, well, not lava, some waterfalls. And then I just, you know, we got boulders here, use a little bit of stone and use a little bit of pressure plates and buttons and it kind of just adds more more detail it adds more layers to the build if it was just this pile of blocks then it would just be a pile of blocks and it would be the same dimension all throughout but as because we have these buttons in here and because we have these pressure plates it adds a little more height and it changes the width of the blocks a little bit and from a distance you know up close you know what they are you know the buttons and pressure plates but when you take it, when you sit back and take it all in and look at these these piles of debris, it, it kind of looks like, you know, extra bits of rock. So I thought that was a good idea to kind of put in there. And I did the same thing in here with with the waterfalls. And then let's get to the top part before before I die from a creeper or something. So I made a perimeter. I made a fence, just simple cobblestone wall, like we mentioned earlier, with some spruce spruce logs and then the slabs. And then, OK, we're going to sleep. This is the perimeter. It's 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 not too fancy, but it, it, it I think it looks good. It mixes well with the stone wall. And there's absolutely zero way of getting over here. I've tried. The logic of these walls, everybody knows walls are a one and a block half tall.
but it just it makes no sense okay so i was able to get over it. it makes no sense this is the exact same height as this but it is visually shorter than these logs this is complete madness i do not understand how walls work in this game i'm not complaining i'm just saying i don't understand so yeah we had to take out all that stone put in the grass let the grass grow once the grass grew then i decided to kind of put the rocks in and then the waterfalls and did a little more work on the walls and I think it looks pretty good so far. So do you see anything odd with this build, everyone? Maybe right behind me. There's gravel. I built with gravel. I didn't craft with gravel, meaning I didn't make flint. I didn't make concrete powder. I didn't make coarse dirt. No, I built with the actual gravel block, which is quite astonishing to me, <laughs> to be honest. I never thought I'd use gravel. I actually said to myself, do I really need to go and deliberately mine some gravel because I may run out putting this together? And I was almost at that point, everybody. But aside from that, I think that uh, we're going to end it here, everybody. We have ran out of time, so I hope you enjoyed this build. I hope you like how this turned out. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out. It was very simple, but it ended up taking me a lot of time to put together. It's, it's taken me, this is day three of recording and putting things together. So <laughs> it took a lot of planning and uh, we, it, it turned out pretty well. There's a lot of detail here, a lot of texture. Um, I hope you all enjoyed seeing this come together as well. So I am Timeless Traveler and this was my Let's Play. You all take care, have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next episode.